السلام علیکم گائز اینڈ ویلکم ٹو مائی یوٹیوب چینل بایولوجی آرٹیکلس اینڈ ہینڈ سیکیوز پریویسلی وی ویر اسٹڈنگ اباؤٹ دا ایکسپریشن ان پلینیریا اینڈ ایکسپریشن ان ارتھ فارم ناؤ وی آر ہیڈنگ ٹوورڈز ایکسپریشن ان کاک روچ فرسٹ آف آل وی ہیو ٹو ناؤ اباؤٹ دیٹ واٹ از کاک روچ اینڈ ٹو وچ فائلم اٹ بلونگس دا کاک روچ از این انسیکٹ اٹ اینڈ اٹ بلونگس ٹو دا فائلم آرتھروپوڈا اٹ از این انورٹیبریٹ اینڈ اٹ بلونگس ٹو دا فائلم آرتھروپوڈا The uh, phylum Arthropoda contain the uh, uh, insects that contains the jointed legs. Jointed legs. Here you can see that in cockroach, uh, the, uh, the, the legs are uh, the portion of the or the parts of the legs are jointed uh, by each other by the help of joints. Here you can see the first joint and this is the second joint and these parts are connected to each other by the help of joints so the uh, these specific an, uh, animals contain the jointed legs so they are included in uh, phylum arthropoda the scientific name of the cockroach is periplaneta americana so moving towards the main uh, topic of our um, um, main uh, main uh, dis, um, main discussion of our topic is Uh, excretion in cockroach here you can see there, uh, that there is a complete system of the cockroach scene this is a complete system and it is seen outside the um, animal's body but in reality it is present inside so it is understood that uh, it has to uh, only uh, um, draw for understanding it is uh, it has drawn outside only for understanding here you can see the complete system that there are sli uh, salivary glands in esophagus crops but uh, the um, main point is that they, and this is a total alimentary canal or this is a digestive system but one may important or amazing thing about the cockroach is its excretory and digestive system are associated with each other you can see here one thing that there are malpighian tubules shown these malpighian tubules are main organ of excretion in cockroach these are malpighian tubules and these malpighian tubules are associated with the gut or alimentary canal of cockroach you can see here the, the portion um, the portion here is foregut and then uh, there is midgut and uh, the malpighian tubules are present between the junction uh, at the junction of midgut and hindgut the uh, this portion is hindgut so these malpighian tubules are uh, the only excretory organs of the cockroach and these are present uh, at the junction of midgut and hindgut you can see here that there are malpighian tubules then the malpighian tubules are mainly tubules that are blind ended blind ended means you can see here uh, only one tubule is shown the blind ended means uh, it is open from one side this is open side and closed from the other side this is closed side side so they are called blind ended tubules so one thing about the malpighian tubules are they are main excretory organs the second thing is they are blind ended and if we talk about the number of malpighian tubules then uh, they may reach from uh, uh, they are approximately 150 in cock in one cockroach the number of malpighian tubules is approximately 150 in one cockroach so let's move towards that uh, how these malpighian tubules are helping in excretion first of all what happened that uh, the food uh, and, and a cockroach um, uh, eats the food through its mouth and now it is moving from its alimentary canal or gut when it uh, reaches at the mid gut now there is uh, there are malpighian tubule present at the junction of mid gut and hind gut here these are malpighian tubules the uh, now uh, the uh, one thing important uh, about the cockroach that cockroach don't have blood means if uh, um, if it will take any food 
the nutrients or amino acids or um, some uh, other nutrients will not enter in the blood they have a specific fluid that is called hemolymph all the nutrients uh, that uh, um, that our cockroach is taken uh, taking will enter in its hemolymph not in uh, its blood so the um, uh, the malpighian tubule will uh, take up the waste materials from the hemolymph not blood the uh, waste materials will enter in the malpighian tubules and the, from the malpighian tubules uh, they will move towards the hind gut in this portion so this is a close association between the excretory system and digestive system of cockroach that the excretory waste is such as um, uh, the salt or extra water or uric acid that um, that, that are present will uh, enter in the malpighian tubule that is excretory organs and uh, it then also pass from the hind gut which is mainly a portion of digestive system not excretory system so th there is close association between both uh, systems in insects now the um, waste materials are flowing from the hind gut into the uh, that portion into this swollen portion and this swollen portion is called rectum the rectum will then reabsorb the water if there will uh, any extra water present in the um, uh, in the uh, material that is flowing in the hind gut the rectum will reabsorb all the water from it so the remaining material uh, will be in the form of feces or you can say that it will be a solid excreta because high amount of water is reabsorbed by uh, the uh, um, by the rectum and it is again uh, put it down into the hemolymph for further use so the waste material that will excrete from the anus will in the form of solid excreta this is all the system and this is how the malpighian tubules of the cockroach is helping in its excretion next we are going to talk about that either the cockroaches are monotelic ureotelic or uricotelic so the answer to this question is that the um, cockroaches are uricotelic means they are excreting their nitrogenous waste in the form of uric acid here you can see the formula of uric acid and uric acid have total four nitrogens 1 2 3 4 and that is four four nitrogens here but why they excrete uric acid and not a ammonia or urea the answer to this question is that the uh, that the cockroaches um, you know that cockroaches live in the terrestrial environment and terrestrial environment in the terrestrial environment they main only used to face a scarcity of water so they don't have enough amount to um, enough amount of water to eliminate their nitrogenous waste in form of either ammonia or urea so they have to um, uh, eliminate their nitrogenous waste from their body in the form of uric acid because the uric acid is that compound that needs very less amount of water for its removal means only 1 ml of water is used for the removal of 1 gram of uric acid nitrogen means if the if it is uh, removing its nitrogenous waste in the form of uric acid then only 1 uh, ml of water will, will be required for 1 gram of its removal so uh, they are present in terrestrial environment and, uh, and not uh, um, there is not uh, any adequate amount of water available they have to excrete their nitrogenous waste in the form of uric acid not in the form of ammonia or urea because the ammonia and urea require high amount of water for its removal ammonia 1 gram of ammonia needs 500 ml of water and 1 gram of urea needs 50 ml of water for its removal this is the reason why it is excreting uric acid at, uh, as its nitrogenous waste
So here is the whole topic about the malpighian tubules and how they are helping in excretion and how the cockroaches are removing their nitrogen waste in the form of uric acid. If you like this video, share this video with your friends and subscribe to the channel for, uh, to get daily updates. Thank you so much.